Welcome to Brands Hatch. The winter is over and it is time to go racing. The Thundersport GB 2017 Championships are here, finally. And it's round one at Brands Hatch as ever for the GB Racing Sportsman and Elite 600 class for 2017. The Elite class, the fastest 600 class here at Thundersport GB. And then there is a Sportsman class within this race as well for riders that perhaps aren't quite at that Elite level just yet but do have uh, more than enough experience to compete. Last year's runner-up there, you can see number two, Jordan Rushby. He finished second overall in the championship after such a close final round in 2016 between him and Charlie Morris. William White, who of course was a contender as well, will also be out on circuit. Look out for him, number 47. But Jordan Rushby looks like he may well have got off to the best start. He has. He has the advantage as they tip into Druids for the first time. There are so many 600s as ever here with us for the opening round. You can see from the weather, we have had some rain. few dry patches around here, but it's just that awkward sort of condition really part wet part dry as the 600s all roar around this Brands Hatch Indy circuit second place there is William White so the two men that were of course in the top three of the championship last year are all up there that's number 48 Alex Lorries in third place a freshman rider from last year oh and just behind him unfortunately it's not the best start for Matt Dawes 108 Another former freshman rider who, who unfortunately, and a pre-national rider who has unfortunately just lost the rear end of coming around to clearway. So Alex Lorries is now in a comfortable, I suppose you could say, in the early stages, third place. There's Brendan Malander, another former pre-national 600 rider. Steve Day here, Thundersport Sid alongside me. It is Jordan Rushby from William White and Alex Lorries. Number 66 there, just going through your screen, was Dominic Petit from uh, Cambridge. And number 28 there is Dan Parker from the Wirral. Just making a move there up the inside. A rather audacious attempt, but he's made it stick. Is 1-1-1. One, one, one. It's Aaron Bradley, of course, who's moved up from the uh, Stock Twin class. So he's having some fun on more power. There's Max Wadsworth as well from Halifax. Max has now been with Thundersport for a number of years. He's just drifted a little wide there and allowed number seven through on him. That's Ryan Varley from Leeds on the GAB Racing Honda. Sid, we're back racing. I mentioned there's a lot of 600s. Uh, I've already seen the entry list for Donington Park, which is, of course, our next round. And I believe you've got 150 or over 150 entries uh, and that's just 600 riders alone. Yeah, that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yes, yeah, somebody said to me the other month that uh, 600s are dead. I don't think so. Come to Thundersport GB and you'll find something completely different. Absolutely brilliant racing. This is where it's at. It certainly is the sportsman uh, class for this year, of course, within the elites, but... Perhaps no surprise, really, to see the likes of Jordan Rushby and William White up there at the sharp end. Sid, last year they were both at it, although I think it's fair to say they had some stiff competition. Despite the fact that Jordan Rushby was the runner-up of the championship, this is an impressive start, isn't it? In the damp conditions here at Brands Hatch, he obviously means business this season. Oh, yeah, Jordan had a year to forget last year. Uh, did well to finish it and stay focused in a way just had so much bad luck but uh him and his dad worked really really hard over the winter and he's come back with a vengeance and he's got his head down he's got his head in the right place and you know very well steve how important that is fastest rider on circuit during the early stages of this funnily enough and the, the lap times do fluctuate in conditions like this because you can see there is a, a dry line there but we are in March and track temperatures are pretty cool a 53 was just posted a 53.194 from Michael Evans now in damp conditions that ain't half bad uh, here at Brands Hatch the lap record still belongs to Matt True Love from 2015 unfortunately Somebody else has gone down there at Clearways. Luckily, up and running away. Who was that that's just gone down? I think that might have been Ryan Varley, actually. Number seven, who's just gone down the road, who was making some excellent progress. So unfortunately, that's the end of his race. But uh, Michael Evans is the rider to keep an eye out for on the Kawasaki number eight. He was the one that just posted that 53.1. As I said, Matt Truelove's lap record still stands. Probably will do. Because uh, despite the fact there's another... 600 race coming up later on here after this one. I 
don't think it's going to dry in time for anyone to be challenging that 47.99 that <laughs> uh, Matt Trulove managed to uh, achieve a couple of years ago. There is Max Wadsworth there, number 72 from Halifax on the specialised group Kawasaki. You can just see there that half the circuit dry on the Cooper Straight. At the moment, out front, Jordan Rushby still leading this one, but William White... Looks like he's keeping him honest. He's not close enough to really make a move at this moment in time, but you never know. Any mistakes coming. There you saw Alex Lorries. He's just falling back through the pack a little at the moment. There's number 62, Nick Edgley. Uh, he's just having a battle out there with Basildon's uh, Robert Creswell. And across the line, they all shoot across. Still Rushby with disadvantage at the moment. He's not putting a foot wrong. He's looking very smooth indeed. And there is William White in second place. Further back there, we see Aaron Bradley and Max Wadsworth having a, a proper ding-dong. It's really important to remember, I think, Steve, and point out that oh all dear. of these... Oh, dear. What have we got here? Number 66 Looks there. like he's lost his gears yeah, there. Yeah, Dominic Petit, unfortunately, from Cambridge. Looks like there's some problem there for him, and he just pulls over to the side. Sorry, Sid. Yeah, but, you know, they're all going to be feeling their way around. I mean, as you as you say, uh, you know, the conditions are not perfect, and uh, it's just like some of them, it's the first time uh, they've been on the bike since last year. Some, there is one or two who love a jolly in Spain who have been over there, but I'm not sure that you learn much in Spain and then you come to Brands at about eight degrees. But uh, anyway, but they're all feeling their way around. And uh, I think a lot of these lads know that, as you've said many a time, and so have I, you know, you can't win the championship at the first round, but you can certainly lose it and lose a huge bag full of points. Well, how many times have we seen it, Sid? Now, this, of course, the 10th season of Thundersport GB. The amount of times we've seen riders that have destroyed their bikes at the opening rounds and add to that, maybe even injured themselves. Well, and yeah. that is it. Oh, Oof, Jordan Rushby here just trying to float his way through some traffic and having some fun whilst he's at it. Oh. And uh, he's just going to have to be a bit careful there as he ran. He had to run wide to get past the tail ender and, of course, went on to a slightly damp patch as he went past Yaron Collins. And... Um, nearly threw himself at the scenery ever so easy to do in these conditions there's Keelan Irwin Keelan Irwin now onto a 600 the rider from Letterkenny in Republic of Ireland he's moved up onto a 600 for this season as well from of course the Aprilia 450 class there we see number 69 as well uh, well, that is him, in fact, Keelan Irwin. I'm just so surprised to see him in that colour scheme. But, and, and to be fair, in that position, I mean, you know very well uh, the difference. When you move up to a 600, I mean, they must feel like an intercontinental ballistic missile uh, compared with, you know, I mean, you're basically doubling your brake horsepower from like 64. Oh, what we got there? We've got one down there, Steve. Can you see the number? I can't quite see the number of that one. No, uh, I can see a very, very angry <laughs> rider, though. <laughs> Uh, who's just uh, having a good boot of his bike. He's very upset there. Not quite sure who that was. I think it might have been Leon Wilson, but we'll have to get confirmation of that uh, in a moment. Either way, Ryder not happy. Jordan Rushby still leads this one. Good battle going on further back here between Aaron Bradley and Max Wadsworth as they now come around Paddock Hill Ben. Now, the fact that these two have been chopping into each other has just allowed... Um, both number eight Michael Evans, who we mentioned posted the fastest lap of the race earlier, and Keelan Irwin to draw up behind them. They're not going to catch this guy out front, Jordan Rushby, who's now just starting to edge out an even bigger gap at the front. He's broken the resistance there of William White, who is in a safe second place, I think it's fair to say. But William White will know only too well that, you know what, 20 points, I think that will do. Well, as you say, I think that uh, Jordan has broken them. I mean, I mean there's absolutely brilliant showing uh, from Jordan. He had a good day yesterday as well. Um, but uh, just going back to the uh, 450 that, that Keelan came off uh, last year, and it just goes to prove that, that taking your time in this game and having an intermediate class that you can jump, say, from super teens into like a super twin, RRV or SV650, whatever, and just having a year there and then 
transgressing onto the 600 makes such a difference rather than that huge chasm from say like a learner bike onto something like these yeah absolutely and the fact that there is a sportsman class within this elite 600 championship as well means that there are opportunities to pick up trophies the last lap flag is out jordan rushby looks pretty comfortable there out front uh, likewise, William White in second place. While Sid was just speaking there, we saw Michael Evans has now moved up into third place. There he is, number eight. This is quite a battle for it third place. Brilliant. This is Aaron Bradley who hangs it round the outside. That's a brilliant move from the rookie in the 600 class. Aaron Bradley is on it. They're all fighting here for third. What a fight we have here. Evans, Bradley, Max Wadsworth, Keelan Irwin. He's also Max in the mix. Max lost his front end there a bit. Did you see that? Yeah, and also Andy Dudgeon has come into the mix as well late on to play. There's Arnie Shelton. He's having fun with number 48, Alex Lorries. We've got uh, John Dieterman in there as well. Number 18, of course, former, uh, well, double Golden Era Superbike champion. But a man that finished the bridesmaid last, uh, last time out in 2016 is going to be the bride for now across the line. For the first race on TV day in 2017, Jordan Rushby wins it from William White. Both of them in brilliant form. Now, who gets third in the background? Well, he's managed to pick up some time on the final lap. It is Michael Evans that takes third. He is, incidentally, the fastest of the sportsman riders. Then it was Max Wadsworth, a really decent late charge there from uh, Andrew Dudgeon as well, who's managed to get himself up into sixth place. Aaron Bradley there you saw was in fifth. That's not bad at all for his first outing in the Sportsman Elite 600 class. Top three then, Jordan Rushby, William White and Max Wadsworth in the Elite class. And Michael Evans fastest from Aaron Bradley and Dan Parker in the Sportsman. That's one race gone. Still one to go. Tune in for race two in just a moment. Here we go then, it's time for race two at Brands Hatch. There's some blue skies, but there's still a little bit of damp on circuit as Jordan Rushby lines up on pole position. There he is then, looking to do it again. He looks pretty focused ahead of this next race. As we mentioned earlier on, it's important to pick up the points. He won't want to do anything too silly, but if he's in as uh, decent form as we just saw a moment ago, then expect Jordan Rushby to be the man to beat here in race two. Also keep an eye out for Michael Evans and Andy Dudgeon because both riders in the latter stages of race one posted very fast times. few bits of movement there on the grid as the lights go out but hopefully they've all got across without making a jump start. They all now head down in towards turn one and Jordan Rushby once more one of the most difficult turn ones to face in all of racing across the world but Jordan Rushby's done it well. Just in second place there is number 108, Matt Dawes. Now, I saw pictures on social media not so long ago of Matt getting himself all ready for the season. That gold and black bike looking so beautiful. Well, he's already thrown it up the road in race one, and he'll be hoping that he doesn't do the same again. There's the Oasis Bar sponsorship of Keelan Irwin as the Irish rider looks to try and finish in the top four or five again. There's William White. William White, who's got the sticker still on the front of his uh, tyre there. That always just makes me wince a little bit, I have to be honest. And someone's gone down already in race one. Who is that at the sharp end that's just gone down into clearways? Yellow flags waving and it's a red flag. We are done. That is it from the end of the race. I think that might have been, you know, again, Matt Dawes. I can't confirm that, but I'm a little concerned that Matt Dawes might have just crashed twice. 
Well, there you see there is a gap on the grid and Matthew Dawes has not lined up on the grid. So I fear that it might have just been him. Well, Jordan Rushby's got it all to do again. William White alongside him. And away we go for the restart. Fresh restart, no aggregate times or anything like that. And it is still Jordan Rushby that gets the advantage as the 600s cram themselves into Paddock Hill Bend uh, for the second time of asking. Now then, up the inside there, William White thought about a move up the inside. Didn't quite work out. Jordan Rushby should be leading as they dip down the hill then into Graham Hill Bend. A few riders just having to sit up there. It's getting incredibly cramped around Druid's corner. There you can see number 19. That's Lloyd Shelley, of course, last year's pre-national 600 champion. Keep an eye on Lloyd as the season goes on. The Terrier. Was, <laughs> yeah, the Terrier was in stunning form at the end of 2016. Jordan Rushby leads from William White. Number seven in third there, Ryan Varley. He went down the road in race one. He's looking to make better of it this time. There's Ben Watton, number 84. Familiar colour scheme for him, uh, just as he had last year. And around the outside, that looked like there for William White. See Curtis Drew there up ahead of Max Wadsworth. Good start for Curtis. There is Andrew Dudgeon. There is Keelan Irwin. And so those guys have all got off to a decent start. Michael Evans likewise. So they might just fancy a charge through the pack here. Looking at the circuit, it's slightly drier than it was in race one. The sun is shining as well, and William White did push his way through, but not for long. Brave up the inside into Graham Hill Bend. Incredibly tight around there. You have to be committed. You have to be brave. And he's done just that, and they overtake each other again. This is three overtakes now uh, already just on this lap alone. And William White makes his way back through to the front. This, of course, is going to allow the rest of the pack just to close in for now. That looks like Alex Lawries, who again has got off to a decent start. He's into third place. But William White this time will leave at the end of lap one of this restarted race from Jordan Rushby and Alex Lawries. In the background there in fourth is number seven. That's Ryan Varley. Then it's Curtis Drew. That's Max Wadsworth. Number 30 is Andrew Dudgeon. Then Aaron Bradley, 1-1-1. One, one, one. That's Ben Watton coming around the outside of the lot of them. Brilliant move there from Ben Watton, the former pre-national 600 rider himself. And this is incredibly close. Up the inside comes Jordan Rushby. Alex Lorries is that now within touching distance as well. An action-packed start to this restarted racing. Great depth of field in this class this year, Steve. I'm really, really pleased as punch with it. I mean, uh, when you look at the depth of field down here, the list of names is unbelievable. Uh, to the to the to the general public, they might not recognise them like they'll recognise like Cal Crutchlow or Tommy Sykes or or whatever. But to, to those of us who are like involved with uh, with racing in the UK, these are all very very fast guys. So this could be. I wouldn't like to put my money on anybody now. I mean, Jordan looks absolutely brilliant at the moment, but Will is keeping him honest, let's face it. And uh, like you, I don't look... I, there's still tyres out there uh, with the stickers on. I mean, they, they, in these conditions, there's not enough squirm to even wipe off the stickers, let alone give the grip to uh, hang on to the track. No, well, William White has just for now dropped back a bit because Alex Lorries fancies a nibble now at Jordan Rushby. So he's moved up into second place. And Ryan Varley, number seven, you can just see him on that Honda 600, number seven, in fourth place. He looks like he might just fancy closing up on this group as well. And Alex Lorries now goes into the lead. A lovely outbreaking manoeuvre into Paddock Hill Bend. Jordan Rushby's got some new uh, company out front. Up towards Drew as we go. A tight line there from Alex Lorries, and he's dumped oh, it. He's oh defending God. his line. He might have just gone in a bit too tight. He'll be so upset with himself. A rider with a lot of potential. Now he's going to have to wait for Donington Park, unfortunately. Alex Lorries, who's just gone into the lead, unfortunately has thrown it away. That leaves Jordan Rushby then out front from William White. And in third place now, Ryan Varley. Here is Jordan Rushby. He's looked very, very smooth. The same, unfortunately, couldn't be said just a moment ago for Alex Lorries, who's come up from the freshman class himself. He is, of course, the freshman champion of 2016, Alex Lorries. Well, at least he's up and he's walking away. Further back, you can see the battles going on for points, precious points at that. 
There is number 44. That's uh, Robert Creswell. We saw him earlier in the season. These guys are all just inside the top 20. There's your race leader, though, number two. And the change for second. Yes, it is. Varley is up into second. Andrew Dudgeon has got past Max Wadsworth. He's got past Curtis Drew. And the number 30 is closing in. Now, it says in the program, and it might just say on the screens here, uh, that he is on a Kawasaki. Doesn't look like one to me. Uh, that blue machine looks very much like a new GSX-R 600 That's a Suzuki. That's definitely a Jexa. But uh, to be fair, the producer will have got that from the programme and, you know, it, we must impress on all the riders. They must give the right, imp you know, the, the, the exact impression of what we've got to put in the programmes to uh, Dave and Bernadette. He might have just changed that. I mean, I think maybe uh, looking at the colour of his leathers, it looked like he was a quacker rider, doesn't he? Yeah, quite possibly. Um, but that is definitely a Suzuki. And like you say, if you, if you don't put it in your entry and put it in the programme, then it's not going to come up on our screens as well. Um, but anyway, Andrew Dudgeon is on a mission here. There is Ryan oh, Farley. Look at Andrew front Dudgeon. End. He has managed to find his way past William White. He is the fastest rider out on circuit by some margin. Uh, Jordan Rushby at the moment is lapping in the mid-53s, looking very comfortable. The riders around him are doing low 53s. Andrew Dudgeon just posted a moment ago. Well, he's already into the 52s. He's by far the quickest rider out on circuit. And you know what? This gap up towards Jordan Rushbean might not look so big anymore as they make their way around clearways. There is uh, the battle further back for 5th, 6th and 7th. So across the line we go. Rushby, it is that has the lead. Andrew Dudgeon now flying. There is Ryan Varley, number seven. He's now coming under attack uh, as well. I'm just trying to keep an eye on William White. He just seems to be struggling to keep the pace at this moment in time. Unlike this guy on the Suzuki, Andrew Dudgeon, the rider from uh, the Isle of Man. I'll tell you what, Sid, he's got the pace, you know, to catch up with Jordan Rushby here as we look further back at uh, a familiar face, Arnie Shelton. Yeah, I don't know whether Jordan's got the measure of him or not. I mean, who knows? The thing is, is that it's all about getting into a rhythm and getting used to these these conditions, um, making sure that you stay on the dry line. It depends what traffic you come up against. Um, obviously, as you said, I mean, Alex Lorries, he was... Oh, he's going to have a go, is he? No. Yes, yes he, he is. is. Yeah, and Jordan Rushby was comfortable, like you say, but perhaps just a little too comfortable. Uh, there was a pit board out there for him. Now we'll see what Jordan Rushby's got left in the tank. Or will Jordan Rushby say to himself, do you know what? I've been here before. I finished runner-up last year. These points are precious. Uh, we'll wait and see, I guess, over the next few laps. There is Max Wadsworth just up behind Curtis Drew. These guys all just inside the top ten at the moment. There's Love. Aaron Bradley up ahead of 25, which is Matt Whelan. Another fastest lap for Dudgeon. He's in the mid-52s now. Around clearways we go. Number 30 then. Andrew Dudgeon as they make their way onto the start finish straight. I don't think Jordan Rushby's got an answer for him, to be honest. There is Keelan so Irwin. He's pulling away, isn't he? I, I'm, I'm really surprised at that. But then you did mention that there was quite a distance between their lap times. So, you know, I mean, if uh, Jordan's lapping a second a lap slower, that's quite a lot round here, isn't it? It is, and, and you have to sort of ask yourself again whether there's much point in Jordan Rushby doing too much in order to try and catch up with that. He'd he's have to really push the boat out here. He's had to grow up quick, Steve. I mean, he knows what DNFs mean after last year, I tell you. He really, really does know. But, you know, the only thing I'd say with Dudgeon, you know, I mean, like, it could easily dump it. I mean, when, uh, you know, Alex Lorries was just, just about ready to tip into the 52s, uh, he was big and brave, etc., etc., and then boom, down you go, and it's like good night Vienna, no points. Last lap flag is out, and Andrew Dudgeon has just cleared off. Jordan Rushby's waved the white flag and said, I'm just going to cruise home now, because, of course, he himself has got a bit of an advantage over number eight, Michael Evans. Further back there is Ben Watton, who's done very well to get himself up ahead of Keelan Irwin. Both Evans and Watton, by the way, are sportsman riders the next best sportsman rider at the moment is Aaron Bradley uh, Keelan Irwin is set to find his way onto the elite podium at the moment he's in fifth overall but that here is we a see. massive result Steve's fifth would be if he finishes the race well we'll wait and see there's only half a lap to go here is number 30 Andrew Dudgeon 
on the team slick performance. Suzuki around clearways. Brilliant riding from him. He started a bit further back on the grid, but he has worked so hard. And that is a fantastic win. Number 30 wins it. That is it. Andrew Dudgeon takes the second race win here on TV Day in the Thunder Sports 600 Sportsman Elite Class, sponsored by GB Racing. Jordan Rushby will leave here by the looks of things as a championship leader. And third place across the line was Michael Evans. It is Ben Watton that follows in fourth. Keelan Irwin is in fifth. So that's a brilliant result for the Irishman. And William White, having started so well, unfortunately in the end, just fell back on his triumph to sixth place in the end. The elite top three then. Andrew Dudgeon, the winner from Jordan Rushby and Keelan Irwin. And in the sportsman class, Michael Evans, the winner from Ben Watton and Aaron Bradley. Let's take a look now at those points. And there you see Jordan Rushby, 20 clear of William White with Andrew Dudgeon in third. That win really helping lift himself up the table ahead of Michael Evans, Max Wadsworth and Brendan Malander. And in the sportsman class, it is Michael Evans that has a five-point lead. A bit closer this one, ahead of Aaron Bradley, Ben Watton, Matt Whelan, Alex Lorries and Ashley Milburn. Round one done and dusted. Let's hope we'll see more of these blue skies for round two when you join us next time at Donington Park. We'll see you then.